longitudinal section of a parous female, showing you a longitudinal section of the uterus. This is the anterior myometrium, outer wall is normal, regular cervix, endometrial canal is normal, posterior myometrium is okay. As I move the probe transversely, come across a cystic area here with internal densely ecogenic areas in this right and next cystic area. <coughs> this is the cyst in total in the region of the right at next of the female Mary and uh, these are two dense ecogenic rounded areas with no posterior shadowing at all. The mayor Now, they measure approximately, uh, the cyst measures 6.4 into 2.8 centimeters, uh, uh, whereas the, uh, this ecogenic rounded, well demarcated area, no, ecogenic area, this measures approximately 24 into 20 mm, and this one, medial to this, uh, medial, the medial one measures 32 into 18 millimeters. There is no posterior wall enhancement and this is the fluid part uh, compartment between these two. Show you again. Now this cystic area, this solid ecogenic area, there the medial one is has internal cystic area this one this internal cystic area is seen with the one which is in the media uh, uh, location within the cyst is well demarcated ecogenic and uh, densely ecogenic with the tubular central uh, hypopoic uh, and anechoic area rather this one with a fine septa is seen within it this is a fine septum. No calcification is seen within it, and there is uh, excuse me. No vascularity is seen in this one. And no vascularity is seen in the other one. Now see this. This is the ecogenic area number one. This is the ecogenic area number two. Now this is in fact uh, a case of a dermoid cyst in the region of the right head nexa. This one. This is one cyst I've taken on both sides of the screen just to show you the lateral uh, ball like ecogenic area uh, and the lateral, lateral, lateral replaced within the cyst, fluid filled cyst. And this is the second one with internal cystic area irregularly outlined. And few calcific, uh, few, sorry, few, uh, uh, d a small amount of debris is seen within it. This one. So this is our case of the day, which is a dermoid in the region of the right adenexa. Thank you very much.